Okay, hi guys. Uh, today, I'm going to go through an installation guide for Python 3 for Windows. Okay, first of all, you uh, open any browser that you like. Uh, for me, I have Google Chrome open here. At Google Chrome, you go to Google or any search engine you like, like probably Yahoo. Okay, type Python. Okay, from this type Python. Then, uh, once you type Python, click on the first link here. Welcome to python.org, where we will download our client for this course. Okay, once you click there, you'll be brought to this page called Python. This is the official website where we can download the latest versions. Okay, for this course, we need to download our client so that we need to set our computer to the appropriate environment so we can do programming. All right. So basically, we can go to Downloads. Okay, once you go to Downloads, you will see this. All right. Don't click this because our bio Python, which is a packages for running our scriptings and stuff, right? We can't use the latest version because it's the bio Python package is not updated yet to suit the latest version of Python. So for now, we go to Windows, click Windows here, right? Okay, when the thing loads, okay, you see you see a lot of links. These are all our links. Don't worry about it. Okay, first of all, just look for this latest one. Three Point five. We need Python 3.5 at least. From this time of the video, my current one is 3.5.3. When you download in the subsequent future, this number may change. Uh, but doesn't matter. You just make sure that as long as it, it starts with 3.5. Alright, the last number doesn't matter. Okay. Windows x86 executable installer. We need this. Alright, click this. Usually, usually it's the second link. So, yeah, I just look for this. Uh, dash 64, we don't we don't really need. Okay, once you click that, you will see that my Chrome is starting to download. Downloading usually will take a while, depending on your broadband. Uh, if you're downloading in school, it'll be even longer because of the internet here. Okay, uh, this will probably take a while to download. So uh, probably at the same time, we open a new tab here. Okay, at the same time, we're going to download BioPython, right? So you can save time. So from here, just type bio python, bio python, and press enter. Okay, once you reach here, the first link is the one you want. So click on this. Okay, you come to here, right? This is where we download our bio python packages, and any FAQs that you might encounter during your when you're doing bio python in this course. Okay, just click on download to download it. All right, then you see here current release. 1.8, right? Okay, we scroll down. We will download the latest version of BioPython because it's always updated with our latest packages that we need. Okay, okay. as you see, there's a lot, like, similarly as just now, you see there are lots of different links. And that's why we look for, you see, here, this says Python 3.5. We downloaded 3.5 earlier, so we need to download this one, which is meant for 3.5. Okay, there's a diff you see here, there's actually two different kind of links. One is this one. And the other is this. Uh, because there's some problem with the exe, so we will use the .msi. Okay. So uh, in even in the future, this website may be updated. It may become 3.6 in the future. Sure. Uh, if this becomes 3.6, we make sure that at the previous page, which is here, we download the latest 3.6. If it does comes up, right. If not, once you install it today, on right. Uh, I mean right now, we just install 3.5. Since we installed 3.5, we download we are downloading 3.5, so we should install 3.5 to make sure there's no problem during installation. Alright. So we click on this to MSI. Okay, make sure you click this, not EXE, because EXE will give you problems in during installation. Alright. So click on this and you see we are downloading. Okay. Then uh, probably a bit of a while, download. Okay, once we download finish, right? Okay, we will go and find our two files. Okay, for me, I have moved them together. Because we are using Google Chrome. So from Google Chrome, it's press Ctrl plus J. Alright, that is CTRL plus J on your keyboard. Alright, then after that, you'll be, once you press this on the keyboard, you'll see this. Where all our Google Chrome stuff that we download will be stored here. Okay, for me, it's this. So you click it. Okay. Or we can find it. Okay, so we will have here. Okay, this two file is the ones we downloaded earlier. Okay, so first of all, we need to install Python first. 
So double click on this. Okay, then right, we will see a lot of all this different stuff here. Okay, first of all, please note that you must tick this checkbox. All right, this must be ticked. If not, you will encounter problems. All right. So after that, choose customize installation. So click on this. Okay, all this you can just leave it as default. Okay, click on this. Install for all users. Okay, for current customized install location, we will set it to. We will delete all this. C drive thirty five. Make sure you are the same as me. All right. After that, click on install. Okay. Installation for Python 3.5 will take a while, probably about 30 seconds to a minute and a half, depending on how fast your computer is. So um, you can just leave it a while for you to install. Okay, once you see that your set, it says your setup is successful, all right, you can thank this guy for creating this wonderful thing. Okay, then you click on close. Okay, from here, how do we start? Okay. How to test if whether our Python installation did really work. Alright, so we go click on start button. Alright, we just type IDLE. Alright, there you see this. Click on it. Okay, we can click on this. You see this thing called the Python 3.5.3 shell is opened. Alright, this is where all our coding will be done here. Alright, so like every other programming language, we can type this to signify that our program works, all right, for Python 3. We need to print the statement out called hello world, all right? So the syntax is this. Don't worry about one, don't worry about this parentheses and all these brackets and stuff. Um, we'll go through it during the lectures. Okay, from this, once you type this, you click on enter. You see here, this says hello world, all right? This means that your Python is ready and good to go, all right? Then okay, next, we cl will close this. Okay, now we need to install our Py bio python, alright. So we just need to double click on this. Alright, and it asks you to install for all users or just for me. We check the all users, so we install this. Alright, next. Alright, here, we need to make sure that we install to the same location as previously. So, uh, click on, will be installed on local hard drive. Okay, for this, provide a calculation. We put 35. So this is exactly the same as the one we specified earlier during the customized installation of the Python. All right, make sure it's exactly the same. If not, you will encounter problems when you install by your Python. Okay, then let it load. Okay, once it's done, click on finish. All right, then now we need to test if Bio Python works. All right. So same thing, I D L E. All right, from here, we need to import the package. I M P O R T, capital B I O, and you click on enter. Okay, if you see these three red things, it means you're good to go. All right. Okay. Uh, so if you did not successfully install BioPython, you will see this. Correct. So if you type import bio. You will see this traceback error. It means that your BioPython has not been successfully installed. So you need to reinstall it to put the correct folder. Make sure it's exactly the same as the one you installed previously for Python, which is the C drive colon slash Python 35. Make sure it's exactly the same. Alright, if any problems, just let us know. Uh, hopefully, we can help you with the installation problem. Alright, thank you.